said, you know what? If this is what the Lord's telling us to do, we need to just go ahead and step out in faith and know that we'll be well received in the community, that um, the support will be there, and that we will be fulfilling what He is asking us to do. The dream is, is doesn't even compare to the reality of what we're doing. Our first customer that came in actually was a guy working for his meal. So that first day we were like, this is why we're here. I've been dreaming about organic gardening in Jackson for several years and have hit roadblock after roadblock after roadblock and then once all of this started happening I realized why all of those doors had been closed. Everyone that comes in can sit at the table. Everybody has a place at the table. This this reality, this compost bin, this lot, this restaurant is a million times better than what we could have imagined. Whether it's at our huge farm table that seats 10 people or individual table, we want to make sure that everybody has a chance to eat a good healthy meal. It's so easy to wake up and come into work in the morning when you are in such a positive atmosphere where people are like there's so many people here today that are just doing this in their spare time just to help people. I'm excited to be a part of it. It's been a, it's been a year and a half of making and every day somebody comes through the door that just has said, hey, God told me to come here and I want to be able to help out. So it's been a great time. This place has been amazing for me. I am here because there is a great need in Jackson for people to be fed and for people to work with their hands and for people to um, work alongside people they never would have met before. Whether they have a roof over their head or not, whether they're working for a meal or not, we want them to feel like their meal is served to them in a manner that dignifies them. To feed, to love, and to dignify. That's our mission. We've done our job for the day. If we gave one person a healthy meal that wasn't going to eat that meal that day. Jesse told me today that he really needed a blender. <laughs> we would love to have a coffee roaster. Monetary donations are always great because we want to start a job training program for some of these volunteers that are volunteers for meals. We would love to be able to maybe one day eventually make bread, have our guys make bread during the day and sell it. We've seen this vacant lot for a long time and I go to church right around the corner so I've driven by it several times and uh, one day Amy and I were getting lunch together and we were just talking about the vision of Community Cafe and um, the plot that we had at her house just wasn't working and so we were trying to figure out where else to go and I said Amy what about that lot that's two spaces down from the cafe and uh, she was like oh yeah I wondered about that and then um, we called one person um, from St. Luke's and they were like yes you can have it. A mixer we need a mixer because we've started doing a, des a surprise dessert every so often. Uh, we have five beds right now and we have plans for um, this the rest of the space to be developed and to be a growing space. Um, we've got someone who's coming in to put a beehive in for us. If you had asked me what I wanted to do, I would have said I wanted to work serving hungry, needy people, working with local food, some place that has the menu that changes every day, and this is like, it's perfect. We're just kind of a, a big, rowdy, noisy, colorful family. <laughs> Mr. Jimmy, who works in the cafe every day, he uh, came in, didn't need a meal, just came in to volunteer, and I have learned so much from him every day. He is the most kind-hearted and gentle and service-minded man I think I've ever met. The food insecure in America don't look like what we think they're going to look like. They may look like your neighbor um, that has just recently lost a job and has two or three kids. We want them to be able to come in, be able to bring their family out to eat, volunteer a little bit of time, feel like they're giving back. They're paying for their meal, I mean, with their time. Um, he uh, consistently serves everyone who comes in, and he's here every day. He's not being paid, doesn't need anything. He's just here, and um, his humility has taught me so much. Um, I think that I had a different picture of what this was going to look like before we started and before he even got here. Once he came, I realized what true service looks like and 
uh, I think we all need to be a little bit more like Mr. Jimmy. We're very passionate as a family about good eating, good healthy eating. We weren't sure that this was going to take off as much as it has and it's just been astounding. We, we make it possible for everybody to pay for their meal in some way um, and we truly believe that everybody's entitled to good healthy food. We have dreams being fulfilled we didn't even know we were dreaming.